Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes to this day that has given us together. Today, we will be meditating upon. I am thankful for his faithfulness. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. For no matter how many promises God made, there they are yes in Christ, and so through him the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse you just read. Bible scriptures give us several examples of God's faithfulness. The Hebrew word from which is translated faithful and faithfulness in the Old Testament are derived, which means to prop or stay or support. The illustrative use of the word signifies to stay oneself or to be supported, hence the word faithful. As applied to a person, it means a person that can safely lean upon. God's promises are always good and yes in Christ. The first promise he did was with Adam and Eve and their disobedience and unfaithfulness condition. That was the promise of redemption of his masterpiece he created. He did not promise and fulfilled it at that ripe time. And since then, all mankind has received hope and a true hope for the life of eternal life after death. No matter what happened or what we have done in our lives, all that we need is to look towards the cross, the holy cross, where our Redeemer has faithfully fulfilled the promise of redemption. Through His faithfulness, we are able to receive the gift of everlasting life, not by our own performances, but by His mercies and faithfulness to fulfill the promises He has made for us. I am thankful to God that God has chosen me to support be a part of his own family and given me a privileged tone, called his son and gave me the right to call him Abba Father. This message also goes from my story today. The promise is, For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Let's close time of prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you for all your promises and your faithfulness because as a human, it is not possible for me to be faithful, but in you, I have received my faithfulness. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, help me to continue to lean upon you, knowing as I am living in this world, I am protected under your faithfulness. Help me to share your faithfulness to others as well. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. How is it, everyone? If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.